Hey y'all, it is Ash Nicole, aka Sax at Lurg, here doing another commentary on a uh, process video. This time of me doing inking for one of the comic pages for Common Fantasy. Yay, for slight spoilers! Um, so yeah, it's it's been quite a while since I've managed to get any pages out because uh, dental hygiene school has been kicking my butt. Um, if you haven't been through it, you have no idea how hard and time consuming it is. But anyway, anyway, um, but I wanted to record this one because I have stopped. I used to, whenever I did inking, I would use uh, dip pens, which is like those old fashioned fountain pens with the metal uh, nib that you would dip into the ink. And I started using a brush uh, because I've, I've had um, a repetitive strain injury for years now uh i can't quite remember when it started but it, at, at least uh four or five years now um and a brush just seemed like a good option to at least try because um something that really aggravates my my rsi is uh gripping something really tightly and using and pushing down really hard and a brush by necessity requires a very light touch you see here i'm doing really thick lines uh, that's from pressing down hard, and it's not even remotely hard compared to uh, a, a dip pen. So, and and yeah, it has helped my inking a lot. It's like it it can hurt a little bit, especially if my wrist has already been hurting that day, but not nearly to the level it would like if it was a if it was a dip pen. Um, so, yep. Uh, but I I got, I got the idea from rereading. Uh, well. Uh, comic artists have used brushes for, for years. I always thought, uh, I remember when I used to do the con circuit, I would have, um, professional comic artists be all snooty and be like, you're not a real comic artist if you don't use a brush. And, you know, fun fact, anybody who says stuff like that, they're full of shit. Uh, you can be a real artist using any, literally any tool. Uh, and I, and I use this one, like, and I, for like, like you say, like, like literally just for medical, for physical reasons, uh, has nothing to do with how it looks, but I, I did come to like how it looked cause I avoided using them for years, um, uh, because I didn't quite like how they looked and they were hard to control. But then I reread bone, which if you haven't read, it's by Jeff Smith. Um, he, he, uh, he used his brush for all of it. And I remember when I first read it, I didn't much care for the line art. Ooh, no, I went over the line on that one. Uh, I'll have to fix that in Photoshop with his nose there. Um, when I read it the first time, I mean, the art was good, but I didn't much care for the line work. But then rereading it again, uh, almost uh, 10 years later, I liked it a lot more. And so I decided to try it because I realized that could be a good answer to um, my RSI holding me back from inking. Uh, so I have a white gel pen there that I use to go over lines sometimes when I overshoot, but as you can see, it doesn't always work really well. Oh, well. So yeah, I just have to go in with Photoshop and erase that. That's the, that's the trade-off you have to have when you do, uh, uh, traditional inking is it can go, at least for me, it goes so much faster than digital inking and it makes me bolder because I don't have an undo button. So it kind of forces me to up my game. But on the other hand, you don't have an undo button. So if you mess up, you have to just make a mental note to fix it later, um, which isn't what you want to do, but it's just a necessity sometimes. Uh, have to keep his sword in there because it's going to be important in a couple pages. Uh, darn that sword, though. and It's so hard on his skinny body. Um, I actually really like these two characters. I'm very sad that they're not going to show up ever again outside of this introduction. <laughs> I didn't mean that when I wrote them, but I kind of fell in love with them. Oh, well, it happens. Um, so, the, like, the the reason, though, and, and I, I always know I've done a good job with writing or designing a character uh, when people mistake them for a main character, because my philosophy that I, that I kind of, ad like, adapted for writing from Steven Silver, he's the guy who... Uh, designed all the Kim Possible characters. Uh, his motto when it comes to character design is to design them as if they have lives of their own. And I try to do that with designs, but I also try to do that with writing. Um, anytime I have to write a, a back character, especially if it's one that has more than just like one 
offline. I try to think about like who they are, give them some kind of uh, comedic or memorable personality because I really, I really love that shit. I really love like watching movies or reading books where there is a character in it who you never see again, but like you remember them <laughs> for one reason or another. I, and I love that kind of thing. Um, but yeah, this, this guy, he's like, I ended up accidentally falling in love with him because he, he ended up being such a drama queen. Um, I remember showing like the script of this to my friend and he didn't, he didn't care for like the comedic tone of the sorceress. He's just like, she keeps ruining the drama. You need to like cut this line, cut this line because it keeps ruining the drama of the scene. And I'm like, yeah, that's the point. <laughs> that's the point is that she's not taking anything seriously and the guy is taking everything too seriously. But, you know, whatever. Um Yeah, that I I don't know. <laughs> Everybody has different writing styles. He has a much more serious and dramatic writing style and I cannot keep serious about anything for more than 5 seconds. So, that's why he does dramas and I I do funnies. Um but yeah. I'm, running, I'm running out of things to say, but, and also don't want to start any stories because we're just about to reach the end of the video, but yeah. Um, so just, just know that it's like, I haven't fully stopped making comics. It's just with school, everything is so slow. I'm lucky to have like 15 minutes to myself, like in the, in the evenings. So, and, and on the weekends is usually spent cooking so that I can have lunches for like the next day so that I'm not forced to like buy stuff from the gas station every day. Cause otherwise I will feel absolutely like terrible. And plus it doesn't help that I have to do about two hours of stretching a night, but that's what I have to do to keep myself healthy. And that's what I have to do to, uh, keep passing in school. So just know that comics are still being made. They're still coming. They're just coming so much slower than they used to but yep so i hope y'all i hope y'all enjoyed this and i hope to make a few more of these i have about uh i think it's like se seven or ten pages inked so i should get to coloring them soon all right thanks love you bye <laughs>